Guys over here are uh, nailing two pieces of lumber together that they'll utilize as mullions between the windows, similar to the window wall that you see on the very far wall. So those windows are three inches apart and what they're doing is utilizing this lumber as a mullion between the window sections. So right there, they're pre-drilling for the electrical. Uh, traditional electrical is 16 inches and 45 inches up from the finished floor. They're only having to drill one at 16 because 45 would be in the window in this particular scenario. So the glue over here, or the sealant that they're using, uh, is at each side and then around the uh, electrical chase and then there's a termination at each side. Traditionally, they put it what's called a bull bead, which is about the diameter of your thumb. And that way it, it, it controls any gaps between the uh, lumber and the panel or the lumber to lumber style connection. You can see here where this may have a 16th of an inch between the foam and the lumber, but you can also see that the, the joint filler or the sealant has filled that fully. Sealant is really the part that does the job of keeping that air from flowing from interior to exterior and everywhere that we don't want it to go. So we showed you earlier some of the windows and door openings need headers. Some of the window and door openings do not need headers. In this particular case, the window is basically just cut out of the middle of the panel. The structural integrity of the panel itself from the lamination provides the structural strength to act as a header in this application. The same thing goes for the uh, windows down here and up there. And then as you transition to this end wall, where you've got a large opening, we're back to a structural header. So that's an insel beam header. So you've got LVLs on both sides, rigid insulation in between, and that is your header over your window and door opening. So as you can see this cut out here, that's for a large uh, window opening. So they're gonna slide this header in here and then it'll match up to the, to the index into the panel on the other side. So this particular wall has two full height panels. Then we have window, three window fillers and then they're connected together with mullions. These mullions are solid lumber. So what they did here is they put in the solid lumber which acts as the connection between the two panels. And then to make everything plane out correctly, they've surfaced it with a sheet of OSB on both sides, just like the SIP panel itself. So another thing you'll notice here is that what we've done in the factory is we've pre-installed the lumber around the window or door opening. We have basically three different ways that we can uh, manufacture panels for you. Number one is uh, what we call blank panels, which are panels where you would fabricate your own windows and doors and, and cuts. The second thing is for us to manufacture the opening, manufacture all the cuts, and recess out the foam for the insertion of the dimensional lumber. The third and most complete option is for us to pre-install the lumber in the factory and so when it comes out on the truck, it's literally off the truck, either assembling into large sections like these guys are doing or setting up on the plate line and, and doing the install. This panel is just recessed an inch and a half. So that's in the, for the insertion of that lumber. This is a typical window filler. So it would go underneath a window opening. And so this would be considered the sill. And so this sill piece we've installed also. But the king and trimmer and cripple combo that would attach into here is attached into the adjoining panel. For more information and details, please refer to the Premier Sips resource manual and visit our website at premiersips.com.